What's up everyone, Luke here from Solid State Logic and we're delighted to bring to you the SSL Alpha 8, a simple no-brainer solution for expanding the I.O. of your audio interface. If you've ever been in a position where you just need a bit more I.O. for your existing setup or want to add extra line level connections to your studio without having to buy a whole new interface, Alpha 8 is your answer, offering a better way to conveniently add your favourite analogue equipment and grow your studio setup via ADA and SPDIF directly into your existing interface. What's more, the Alpha 8 is also unique in the fact that it can act as a standalone 18-in, 18-out USB audio interface with built-in headphone amp. Great for setups that require high-quality interface with a mixture of analog and digital I.O. So in this video, we're going to walk through a few of the possible ways you can integrate Alpha 8 into your studio. Supercharging your setup and boosting your I.O. Making all of your hardware infinitely more useful and easier to work with. So let's get to it. So let's start with looking at Alpha 8 as a straight 8 channel IO ADAP converter, giving us an easy way to add 8 channels of external hardware processing, such as this 500 series rack of dynamic channels, into our setup. I'm using the SSL 18 here, but this could be any interface with ADAP IO expansion ports for this setup to work. 8 channels of bi directional analog to ADAP conversion is the default Alpha 8 routing, so this will work without changing any settings on the front panel. So the first thing we need to do is connect our 500 series rack to the Alpha 8s, with the ACE analog outputs going to the rack inputs, then the rack analog outputs back into the Alpha 8s inputs. Next, we need to have our ADAT routed from our DAW, so ADAT 1 to 8 out of the SSL 18 is connected to the Alpha 8s ADAT input, and the ACE ADAT output coming back out into the 18s ADAT in. Now in the DAW, we can set up our I.O. for ADAT 1 to 8 as hardware inserts and it's as simple to send my signal to the 500 series dynamics channels as processing as easily as if I was using a plugin. For this example, we're going to be pairing the SSL 12 with the Alpha 8 as a way of bringing in additional input sources. These sources will be our guitar amp modeler, analog synth and drum machine. First off, we're going to connect Alpha 8's ADAT1 output to SSL12's ADAT input. Then these will show up as the digital inputs in SSL12's mixer in 360. We're then going to connect our amp modeler's output to the SPDIF input. Then on the front, we need to configure Alpha 8 to convert SPDIF to ADAT. To do this, we're going to hit the setting switch and the user 3 settings, which allows us to select the source for the ADAT outputs. Cycle the user 3 button to the middle green LED segment, which will switch the inputs 1 and 2 to be sourced from the SPDIF input instead of analog. Alpha 8 is also converting channels 3 to 8 from analog to ADAP. For me, this is the stereo out of my analog synth and multiple analog outputs from my drum machine. If in your studio you already have an analog mixer or a selection of nice mic preamps and are looking for a simple way to record at line level, then Alpha 8 is the perfect solution to streamline the recording process for you. In this example, Alpha 8 is connected to our system and is being used as the main USB audio interface. In this configuration, all analog and digital inputs are available in our DAW as inputs 1 to 18 and all analog and digital outputs are available to send from our DAW as outputs 1 to 18. In this particular setup, I've got the SSL6 analog mixer outputs connected to the analog inputs of Alpha 8 and my PureDrive Octo mic preamps that have their own AD built in connected to the ADAT input, bringing them into the DAW for recording. The door outputs are then sent out via the Alpha 8's analog outputs to the 6's stereo line inputs and external inputs to use the mixer as our monitor control, but this could easily be any external monitor controller you wish to use. A really useful application if you're working on a Mac is to pair Alpha 8 with your existing interface as an aggregated device. In this example, I'm going to pair Alpha 8 alongside my SSL 12 to create an aggregated audio device and use Alpha 8 to utilize the additional 8 channels of DC coupled outputs, which enable me to send CV signal to modulate my synths and Euro rack. Then I can record the line level audio into my DAW via the Alpha 8's line inputs, whilst the SSL 12 provides headphone mixers and monitor control as well as mic pros if I need them. In my Max Audio MIDI setup, I've created an aggregate device with the SSL12 and Alpha 8, both connected over USB-C, then selected the aggregate device in my DAW. 
Now I can set up various modulation signals with live CV tools to send out via the Alpha 8 outputs to modulate parameters on my synths and CV enabled pedals and sync to external clocks, then record back the audio into Alpha 8's analog inputs. What's also really cool in this setup is that I can still set up near zero latency monitoring via the SSL 12 mixer to allow me to record my performance on the synth whilst Alpha Rate's able to modulate loads of different parameters without worrying about my DAW's buffer settings that will add latency. Instead, I can simply take the ADAT output of Alpha Rate and put this into the ADAT input of the SSL 12, then using the digital inputs here in the 360 mixer to create my headphone mix, making this setup super flexible for both programming and recording. And there we have just a few examples of how Alpha Rate can improve your existing studio setup all work as a standalone interface for those of you who need an elegant line I.O. interface for electronic based setups. Thanks for watching and for further information on the SSL Alpha Rate and access to the user guide, you can find these on the SSL Alpha Rate product page on the Solid State Logic website, as well as more information on all our products at solidstatelogic.com.